I've watched North Central PA, which has a landscape very similar to Northern Michigan. I've watched that landscape just disappear. And it is an amazing thing to see uh, the very essence of what made North Central PA a special place to live, at least for me, has been completely destroyed. The very essence of the state is changed completely. And the money, the money that the industry puts in has completely corrupted the process, the democratic process of the state. And it will happen to you. The lies are the same everywhere they want to frack, every country, every continent. The impacts are the same. The water contamination is the same. And industry and the regulators know it. But what I'm seeing immediately, immediate impact within as soon as they start, is it's a dispersed industrialization. I know of no other industry that has this type of landscape footprint. Uh, these, the well pads, the pipeline, connecting pipelines, the compressor stations, the uh, access roads, the truck traffic. It is a horrendous, uh, incredible amount of industrialization and it's dispersed. It is not localized into one zone, one area. It's in residential areas. It's across forested landscapes. It's in pristine environments that we were told were protected for natural resource management that would be there for our children, our grandchildren, and they're being destroyed overnight. In the late 80s and early 90s in some of the states in America, there were experimental fracks happening. Now, this is not the hydraulic fracturing that happened in the 50s. Uh, very little horsepower, very low pressures were used. These are massive, massive industrial fracks that they're, they're starting to do now and started then. Numerous water wells went bad. And the United States Geological Survey did a fantastic two-year study because of that. And they determined that nature was not to blame. This was by Chafin. They determined that the industrial processes caused most of the near gas to the surface, including into the water. That study has been put into the closet. And the truth lies somewhere in the middle. Somewhere in the middle is it, what? Who, who came up with that? How do you get this false equivalency that the truth is in the middle? The truth is where the truth is. Follow the facts. And we were promised, oh, no, 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 what happened in America will never happen to you in Alberta, never. First of all, we have best in the world regulations. Second, we have world-class regulators. We have the best regulators in the world, the most experienced. So they will take care of everything. We've learned from all the terrible mistakes in America. We paid attention and we will not let those terrible things happen to you here. That was in around 2004 and the terrible things had already happened.